opportunity to call on the president to listen to voice of reason to our elders and use diplomatic channel to stop the current detention of Mazen Nandekano. Like I said earlier the other day, there is no basis for the detention of Mazen Nandekano. And for us to commence the process of national healing and reconciliation, you need to release Mazen Nandekano unconditionally, and then we can start engagement. And it's important, many people ask me, why do I keep saying this? I'm saying it because when this problem started, if the president has reacted by addressing those issues raised by Mazen Nandekano, enough is enough. Releasing them, they cannot now or face the consequences. Nigerians, finally, President Bola Metinbu don't they get them very hurt. You see, you know, when people, they keep quiet, something they happen, it will come be like, say, people don't know what is going on or they don't know what to say. This issue of Mazin and the Kano and the, 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 the insecurity going on in the Southeast is getting out of hand. And the way the whole thing is going, just like the government is even happy with what's, what is happening in the Southeast. Because if you have a solution to a problem, that means the problem is half solved. But you know the solution, you have the solution, and you just feel less concerned if they won't buy themselves, make them buy themselves. What exactly is going on in the Southeast? This senator is telling Nigerian government, see, see, you cannot deny the fact that these people, we are not marginalized. You can't deny that fact. And you can also deny the fact that you people mismanaged the opportunity you would have used to settle the issues in the Southeast. You escalated the whole issue now. People are agitating. You never care to ask them, okay, let's just listen to you. What are you saying? Then you tackle this issue from the root. No. You think going after agitators, this, this, and that will solve the problem. Now they have escalated the whole issue. Right now, the Nigerian government is even confused because they don't know what is happening. Even the IPOP agitators, they are confused. Both the Nam the Canon fashion and Simon Ekpa fashion. I want to let you know something that these two days sit at home. These two days sit at home that was ordered. According to the order, it was ordered by the IPOP agitators. So it's either Navicano uh, 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 fashion or Simon Ekpa. This Monday, Tuesday, just this week now, they will sit at home in the southeast. Even goats, ants like this, you don't see them for streets. It was obeyed by everybody, even Nigeria agencies. Nobody come out. They obeyed the sit at home. Now, the problem now, why these people are now worried, is is that IPOB have come out to deny that they were the one that ordered the seat at home. Simon Ekpa said he was not the one that ordered the seat at home. Now the question now is who did? That is the reason why they are now asking President Bola Maitinubu, you know, you have to release Mazen and the Kano or face the consequences because things are getting out of hand in the Southeast. Okay, let's just see that uh, piece of news. The indigenous people of Biafra has categorically denied ordering a two-day seat at home in Nigeria, Southeast region. Contrary to a viral video clip circulating online, the clip featured an undertified individual instructing residents to observe the seat at home on October 21st and 22nd, allegedly to avoid innocent bystanders being caught in the crossfire between Biafra fighters and Nigerian army personnel. IBOP spokesperson Ima Powerful swiftly clarified that the group did not declare the seat at home, urging residents to disregard the order and go about their daily uh, uh, lives without interruption. Powerful accused those calling for the seat at home of being infiltrators, infiltrators, please pardon me, seeking to tarnish the IPOP's peaceful image and create unnecessary tension. This development comes amid ongoing tensions in the region where IPOP has been advocating for the release of its detained leader, Nam De Kano. In August 2021, IPOP introduced a seat at home order every Monday across the seat at home to pressure the Nigerian government to release Nam De Kano. 
Although IPOB later suspended the order, residents of the five southeast states have continued to observe it out of fear. Simon Ekpa, a prominent Biafra agitator, also weighed in on the issue, reflecting speculations that Tuesday was part of the seat at home. Days, Ekpa emphasized that seat at home only holds on Mondays in the region. However, his stand has been at odds with IPOP official position. As the group has repeatedly disowned the Monday seat at home, labeling those enforcing it as criminals, attempting to blackmail the separatist group. The situation highlights the complex and of, of the often uh, fractured nature of the Biafran separatist movement, with various factions and individuals taking claims to leadership and ideology. The movement's message and actions can become distorted, leading to confusion and uncertainty among supporters and the broader public. So this is the reason why they are now asking the Nigerian government to look into this. Enough is enough. This cannot, you know, keep on going. So you just have to release this man. If anything is happening, they will know where it's coming from. And then they cannot have said this before now, but they are taking it for granted. You see, some persons are saying here that Nigerian government is the one holding the seats at home. You know, all what they are just doing is to destabilize the, the Southeast region. Well, Nigerians, this matter, you just get us to be. So make I leave you here. I beg, drop your, your thoughts below the comment section. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. Share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye for now. Opportunity to call on the president to listen to voice of reason to our elders and use diplomatic channel to stop the current detention of Mazen Nandekano. Like I said earlier the other day, there is no basis for the detention of Mazen Nandekano. And for us to commence the process of national healing and reconciliation, you need to release Mazen Nandekano unconditionally, and then we can start engagement. And it's important, many people ask me, why do I keep saying this? I'm saying it because when this problem started, if the president has reacted by addressing those issues raised by Mazin Nandekanu, raised by Sunday Boho, you know, securing lives and properties and treating every segment of this country equally, there will not have been any reason for those agitations. So the failure is on the part of the president, not those people who try to do something. And that is why I say going forward for peace and reconciliation, opportunity to call on the president to listen to voice of reason to our elders and use diplomatic channel to stop the current detention of Mazen Nandekano. Like I said earlier the other day, there is no basis for the detention of Mazen Nandekano. And for us to commence the process of national healing and reconciliation, you need to release Mazen Nandekano unconditionally, and then we can start engagement. And it's important, many people ask me, why do I keep saying this? I'm saying it because when this problem started, if the president has reacted by addressing those issues raised by Mazin Nandekanu, raised by Sunday Boho, you know, securing lives and properties and treating every segment of this country equally, there will not have been any reason for those agitations. So the failure is on the part of the president, not those people who try to do something. And that is why I say going forward for peace and reconciliation, opportunity to call on the president to listen to voice of reason to our elders and use diplomatic channel to stop the current detention of Mazen Nandekano. Like I said earlier the other day, there is no basis for the detention of Mazen Nandekano. And for us to commence the process of national healing and reconciliation, you need to release Mazen Nandekano unconditionally, and then we can start engagement. And it's important, many people ask me, why do I keep saying this? I'm saying it because when this problem started, if the president has reacted by addressing those issues raised by Mazen Nandekanu, raised by Sunday Boho, you know, securing lives and properties and treating every segment of this country equally, there will not have been any reason for those agitations. So the failure is on the part of the president, not those people who try to do something. And that is why I say going forward for peace and reconciliation, opportunity to call on the president to listen to voice of reason to our elders and use diplomatic channel to stop the current detention of Mazen Nandekano. Like I said earlier the other day, there is no basis for the detention of Mazen Nandekano. And for us to commence the process of national healing and reconciliation, you need to release Mazen Nandekano unconditionally, and then we can start engagement. And it's important, many people ask me, why do I keep saying this? I'm saying it because 
when this problem started, if the president has reacted by addressing those issues raised by Mazin Nandek and raised by Sunday Boho, you know, securing lives and properties and treating every segment of this country equally, there will not have been any reason for those agitations. So the failure is on the part of the president, not those people who try to do something. And that is why I say going forward for peace and reconciliation,